Republican candidate for Fulton County District Attorney Courtney Kramer declared on X last month that she would release Young Thug upon winning the office. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The rapper is presently undergoing a well-publicized trial after being imprisoned for more than two years on RICO accusations. Despite the fact that her pledge garnered a lot of attention online, many people don't think she can defeat current district attorney Fannie Willis. Among them is DJ Academics, who offered his opinion in a recent Vlad DTV interview. As far as the trial, kid show. He claims that the majority of voters support Willis' re-election because they believe she is doing a good job of bringing down local crime rates. Furthermore, he thinks Young Thug will be found guilty in the end. What was most likely gonna happen, I 100% do believe that he's gonna be found guilty. They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink. So much taxpayer money has gone into it. They don't want to do a mistrial at this point. I think it's gonna be guilty, but I think it's gonna be overturned on appeal. And I think once it's overturned on appeal, absolutely not, they will not try it again. While it's too soon to tell for sure, most people may agree that Axe's comment about ST show is accurate. The trial has not garnered as much media attention as it usually does now that Lil Woody has taken the stand, but a few instances have stuck out. For instance, Young Thug's attorney Brian Steele recently declared in court that he views himself as a leader in the civil rights movement. Influencers talk down because I'm not with the basic shit. Regarding Drake, Kendrick Lamar and DJ academics couldn't be more at odds with one another. The former is the self-proclaimed biggest hater. Many have referred to the latter as the biggest Drake admirer out there. DJ Academics let his partiality seep through all during the Drake vs. Kendrick Lamar beef, and it looks like the Candeman took note. But they don't hate me, they hate the man that I represent. Lamar just released an untitled song in which he appears to criticize the popular figure on the internet. It didn't take Ak long to become anxious. Lamar's most recent song has a lot of dense bars to get through. However, the ones that fans have perceived as being about DJ academics are the ones that seem to be the most obvious. The type of man that never did ride cause I want a favor. Lamar raps. Ak is definitely an influencer and has been accused of riding a little too hard for Drake over the years. The subliminals continue. The radio personality pushing propaganda for salary. Thank God for Kendrick. This was terrible. It wasn't going to take long for DJ academics to hear it as he earns a profession by being the first to know about these surprise drops. It didn't sit well with him. The well-known blogger made it rather evident in a remark on Kendrick Lamar's Instagram that he was uncomfortable with the circumstances. New, no, he penned. We comprehend. It must be terrifying to be the object of a Kendrick Lamar diss. However, DJ Academics is no stranger to this predicament. Lamar called out Act by name on 616 in La, which dropped amid the height of the Drake spat. During his Wednesday night broadcast, DJ Academics went into further detail about his ideas. The internet personality argued that Kendrick Lamar's decision to take jabs at him was a mistake. You can't say there isn't no game two, then immediately drop a track seemingly baiting game two. He opined. He also took to Twitter to mock the rapper's reluctance to launch an album rollout. Drop a single, he wrote. No round twos, just drop him hits. Think it's time to watch the party die. The shit done got too wicked to apologize. Kendrick Lamar prefers to do tasks quickly. Drake, who will be his adversary in 2024, is a doer. Instagram stories, AI hate music, etc. After going quiet for a few weeks or even months, Kendrick Lamar will release a song that is truly sad. On September 11th, he repeated the act. The rapper returned to Instagram with a five-minute epic, breaking out from his Not Like Us vacation. Although Drake's name is never mentioned or given a title, the entire song contains numerous bars that are obviously directed at the Six God. Now let's examine them. Let's start with the opening verse. The first line Kendrick Lamar utters, Think it's time to watch the party die. This is a direct reference to a line in Lamar's scathing Meet the Grahams diss. Towards the end of the song, he mentions crashing Drake's party by uncovering all of the rapper's flaws. The next few bars also also seems squarely aimed at Drizzy. The shit done got too wicked to apologize. Lamar raps. It's different, get him whacked and disqualified. It appears that the first section makes mention to the fact that children and significant others were coerced into the Drake conflict. The argument that Drake shouldn't be considered one of the all-time greats is reiterated in the second section. This song is a more comprehensive interpretation of the themes that Kendrick Lamar was talking about in Euphoria and not like us. He's essentially criticizing the rap scene for letting Drake take the lead. Why argue with these clowns if the circus is well at work? He wants to start afresh since he detests what the genre has evolved into. Thus, the song is a critique of both Drake and the industry that produced him. This is quite evident throughout the remainder of the first verse. Just walk that man down, that'll do everyone a solid. Kendrick Lamar seemingly throws digs at Drake's past courtesy of a Star 67 reference. He also asks Drake where his soldiers are at, after the Toronto rapper made reference to being a general in the song The Heart Part 6. Kendrick is taking a different approach here, but it's no less cutting. He's got a lot more to get off his chest when it comes to Drake, and this new song proves it. 